Welcome to my channel. Hey friends, it's Tanya. In today's video, we'll be remodeling our secret pantry. If you've been a part of my YouTube family since January, then you know that I have a small kitchen pantry. Therefore, years ago, we turned our coat closet into our secret pantry. We call it our overflow pantry, and sometimes we call it our second pantry. Recently, it had become very chaotic and not functional at all, so I knew I needed to get in there and reorganize it. My original plan was to take everything out, as I'm doing now, pull the shelving out, paint the walls, and then put the shelving back in, adding in a little white wire shelf that you probably saw at the beginning of the video that I had found um, around our house not being utilized and just kind of purge and declutter what didn't need to be in there and just restack it back in in a more organized fashion. But plans change, especially when you have a handy husband. As you can see, this coat closet is in its original condition. Our home is about 26 years old and we've been in it for about 14 years and this closet has never been repainted. I'm pretty sure it's the original paint. And as you can see, it is just scratched up and scuffed up all over. And if you look closely at our plastic shelving, it is starting to bow. After we took a good look at it, my husband Chris said he wanted to build in some new shelves to make it more functional for our family. He began by removing the existing shelf. Goodbye, old shelf. Now it's time for me to start painting the inside of our coat closet, aka our secret pantry. I'm going to begin by doing all the cutting in first before I roll. I'm using Agreeable Gray by Sherwin-Williams. If you haven't seen my Real Pantry Reset video, please check that out. I'll link it in the description below. cutting in and I painted all the areas where my roller won't fit I'm ready to roll this pantry let's roll I'm definitely not a huge fan of cutting in but I definitely love using the roller to paint once I get going I actually enjoy it it's very satisfying to me to see all the scuff marks get rolled away with a fresh coat of paint. It truly is amazing what a fresh coat of paint can do for a space. If you're enjoying this video, please click like and subscribe. It helps my channel grow. I thank you in advance for liking and subscribing. If you noticed, yes, you're right, I did change my outfit. I changed into my painting clothes. Anytime I work on a painting project, I put on my painting shirt and my painting pants. So I actually wore this before in my Real Pantry Makeover video. So, yep, that's what I wear. Now that the painting's done, I will let it dry. 
Sometime after we moved into our home 14 years ago, we changed out all the gold knobs, but somehow we missed this one. So while the paint dries, we're gonna head out to Lowe's and get a new one. Now all my knobs will match. As we were heading to the checkout, oh my goodness, they had Mrs. Meyers fall hand soaps. Mum, apple cider, and acorn spice. Yes, I grabbed a couple of my favorites, acorn spice and apple cider. Now that I'm seeing this, I think I need to go back and get the multi-surface cleaners. Okay, we're back home and Chris is prepped for his project. He started by adding one by two bracing to the walls. Then he measured the MDF to determine where the shelves would be. Then he cut and painted the MDF. Then he added the shelves. Then he used the same 1x2 wood for the face trim. He added a portion of the original hanging bar, just in case we ever want to hang a few coats on it. He then finished it out with some new baseboard. Let's organize. With any organizing project, the first thing you always have to do is declutter. I started by throwing away any food that had expired. Then I took items from my secret pantry, AKA my overflow pantry, and restocked my main kitchen pantry. Then I tried to minimize packaging from bulk items. We had eaten enough of the Nutrigrain bars and these pastries from their bulk item packaging that I was able to throw all that packaging away and move them into our main pantry. Then whatever was left over, I organized it into our secret pantry. I placed our paper towels on the top shelf since we don't have to access those very often. Then I organized the rest of the food on the other shelves. I didn't label anything because the food in our home is constantly changing. Sometimes we try a new recipe that requires us to buy a new food. Other times we buy what is on sale at Costco. So our pantry looks different from month to month. Since we don't bake that often, we have chosen to place all of our baking items in this pantry. Instead of buying individual containers for our self-rising flour, bread flour, pancake mix, marshmallows, etc., we decided to just group everything together in this one large bin to seal it and keep it fresh. Since we don't need to access these items very often, it's not a big deal for us to open it and close it when they are needed. We placed our one gallon water jugs on the floor because they are heavy. For now, I'm leaving the hanging bar empty because I like it like that. As you know, I like to decorate, so I have my outdoor signs close by to our front door. Then we added our broom and mop bucket. Chris completed this project by changing out our doorknob, and it looks great. Our pantry has been remodeled for about a week and a half now, and we've been using it, and it functions so well, and we're all happy to go and look through it instead of digging through the chaos that it once was. I'm loving my remodeled secret pantry. Bonus, you wanna know another secret? This is my entryway console table, and I store some paper products in it. When you have a small kitchen pantry, you have to make your furniture pieces work for you. So I store my plastic cups in here, foam cups, coffee filters, freezer paper, aluminum trays, soda and paper plates, but right now we're out of them. Well, now you know my secret storage places. Thanks for watching. Please share, like, and subscribe. Bye.